how are you my fans and friends i'm so glad that you're watching this i know that if you're taking your time to watch this you must be one of my great great friends and fun i don't take it for granted at all that you take your time off busy schedules to just watch whatever i post i felt like uh, i need to just appreciate all of you guys for all the support you've given my ministry through the years I'm almost hitting 10 years, by the way, since I started doing this gospel ministry. And it has not been an easy journey. And I have had my lows and highs. And I thank God that he has seen me through. This is not an easy thing to do. And I know most of you keep wondering how comes you keep singing and singing. And sometimes not all our music gets to be played on air. Some of the songs that you know, you may not have heard them on radio or on TV and you still manage to know them because you follow this channel. It is not an easy ministry. It has a lot of warfare, battles and so many challenges. But the Lord has sustained me and given me all of you as my support. And I don't take it for granted. So I felt I need to just sample some of your testimonies that keep coming through my channel. Uh, just to make sure you know that indeed I do go through them. Every morning I go through the comment section to just see the people who have shared their stories, their testimonies. And this is what keeps me going. We don't sing for money. Some of us don't sing for money. We don't sing for fame. I know there are those out there who are doing it for so many other reasons. But for me, I do it as a ministry to reach out to the souls of people, to encourage people going through hard uh, times and tough challenges of life. And every time I see someone saying that they heard this song of mine and it encouraged them, it pulled them through, I just say all the glory and honor to the Lord. And I feel that indeed what I'm doing is worth it. I can record one more song because the Lord is using me to reach out to his people. Uh, I could read so many comments because there are, uh, there are very, very many, but I'll just sample a few. Uh, some of the testimonies. Uh, someone said on my song, that this song rings to me this morning because of certain things that are disturbing me, what decision to make. Someone else said, Bless, uh, blessed woman of God, I love the messages in your song. And uh, someone else said, God is good, that is to the song, um, someone else says uh, on the song, Blessed so much today by this song and delivered from my anxious thoughts and worries. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you so much. I say amen to all this and I keep saying that uh, ministry and gospel music, everyone does it differently and for different uh, reasons and because of different inspirations. Most of the songs I've written and recorded, I wrote them some in warfare and some as a testimony of things that God has done to me. And that is why maybe most of you relate to them so well and feel like I'm singing about you. And I don't take any credit for this because these songs are inspired by the Holy Spirit and it is his work to use me to reach out to the people of God. There's a certain comment I'm looking for. I can't yet see it, but recently someone uh, commented that, uh, that two years ago she was about to do an abortion and she heard my song, Mwenyamarori, play somewhere. And when she listened to the song, she felt a change of heart and decided to keep that baby. And so she was saying that the baby today is two years. And every time she looks at her, uh, at the boy, I think it's a boy, she, she sheds tears. And when I read that comment, I felt so moved because that means someone's life or lives were changed because of the messages in this song. And all I can say is that may God continue using me. I pray that the Lord keep me in his ways so that I don't start to look for fame in ways that other musicians are doing or even to self-glorify myself. I pray to stay in the ways of the Lord under his lordship and his guidance because if I stray, I will be out of course and I don't want to do that. Another comment says that um, this is now to the song... Uh, let me see. This is to the song. Someone said, a wonderful song for all seasons. This is my latest song that is titled Wego Shibia. The official video is not yet out. And by the way, if you're watching this and you're not my subscriber, I please request you to hit that subscribe button 
share with as many people as you can. Uh, the world is going global. And even though some of the music may not make it to the airplays in the media, when you get to the YouTube channels of the musicians that you love, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and even the notification button so that anytime they post something, you get to see it and share with your friends. Someone else says, if there is someone, uh, if, if there is someone who inspired me in this industry, it is you. I love you, girl. May God elevate you to another level. Amen. This is a friend of mine called Martha, I guess, because, um, you know, YouTube doesn't give the full names, but just the email. But when I see Martha, I think I can relate who this girl is. And I say amen to the Lord. May God continue me using me as an inspiration. Another group that I want to really thank is the people, especially the pastors, who give me a chance to serve in the altars. It is not uh, something to take for granted when a pastor gives you the honor to serve in his church or his event. And I want to acknowledge the pastors who have been calling me to go and minister. And even my clients who call me in their events to sing, maybe in weddings and private events, it, it is not something I take for granted. To have someone accord you that honor to entertain their guests or even to minister to their congregation is something that we cannot take for granted. It takes the anointing of a higher person to see the anointing in you and give it the respect that it deserves. So to all the pastors and the reverends, the bishops who believe in my ministry, who even pray for me because I know that this far it has taken prayers, not only my own prayers, but the prayers of people who really believe in me. I mean, there's so much warfare out there against worshippers. And so if you don't have people who pray for you, you can easily quit this thing. You can easily go astray. And so I know there are so many men and women of God who stand with me. And I am so grateful and I give to God all the glory. Someone else said here, may all the glory and honor be unto the most high. For this song, this, this, this is the song when you know, this is the song we worship here. The, the girl continued to say, Your songs inspire me a lot, Esther. Amen and amen and amen. Someone else says, So I will keep saying which song because I have many songs, and so I have to look at individual songs too. Someone watched my my new Christmas release and now discovered the other song Kohe Tokyo that I had released early this year and he said today's new release has made me realize this song and it is such a blessing thank you someone else says this is a beautiful piece and very timely it is the song uh, the, the new Christmas song I did recently someone else says to the song Kohe Tokyo this is the song I sang in January about divine acceleration what a blessing and great inspiration. I can watch over and over again. Be blessed ab abundantly to produce more of this. Thank you so much and amen. Uh, someone, some of these are in Kikuyu, but uh, I'm trying to translate. Uh, one of my my you know fellow musicians, this is Maggie N, said in a comment recently, one of my most favorite gospel ministers, ministers from Central Kenya, May God keep you for the kingdom. More grace, Esther. Thank you so much, Maggie. I also love your songs. And it takes uh, a lot of humility, by the way, for a musician to acknowledge the work of another musician. I don't know whether most of you can relate to that, but I know it is not every day that you find a fellow musician even watching your song or even sharing it or even commenting. You know, there's a lot of pride in this industry, but the Lord has a remnant of people who still remain humble and who remain truthful and true and, you know, worshipping in truth and in spirit. Someone said, good work, Esther, more blessings this festive season. This is um to the song, Another person to the song, Monyamarudu said, nice song. It really take us to God directly. Well, <laughs> if you say so, may God take all the glory. Someone said, I love you so much and your songs, Esther Konkara. Thank you. Another one said, you are truly talented, Esther. You are such a blessing to my soul. May God bless you. You know, I just wanted you to know that indeed I do read these messages and I, I receive all this blessing that you send my way. And someone said to the song Kohe Tokyo, this song is more than a blessing in my life. May God bless you more as you continue with this work. All the best, Esther. Thank you. Uh, you know, I started with... Um, the comments that are quite recent. So if I was to go down, 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 there's so much to read. And so 
because of time i may not be able to read everything but someone called jacob said be blessed so much esther unaenda mbali in jesus mighty name amen and uh, another person said what a touching song what a lyric this is to the song Maruri. and uh, another person said the song odosho i have been replaying this song for a week now amen and uh, someone to the same song odosho nemohodo this song gives me hope whenever i listen to it and just to mention that the song odosho nemohodo is is now at 700 and i think 80 uh, views and i would encourage all of you to watch and share it so that it hits a million views it's not an easy thing i know most of you who may be trying things on youtube realize that it's so hard to get people to subscribe and even to view your songs and the fact that monyamarori has now 2.3 million views is not something i take for granted some of us don't have godfathers to you know to sponsor us to anywhere we just rely on god alone to elevate us and the fact that i have been in music now almost 10 years and some of my songs are out there people know them so well sometimes i'm traveling and people just know my name when i'm in different towns and this is not something i can i can take lightly because i know we are all in it in different levels there are musicians who are at um, 500,000 subscribers and i don't feel jealous about it because this journey it is the lord who elevate you at his own time it is the lord who take us from glory to glory there are those who are at thousands like me and it is still the lord who has done it we give all the glory to him there are those who are way below me and i don't look down upon them because i know it is the lord who can elevate anyone from whichever level to whichever level he wants and so all i can say is that keep doing your thing do it with the right purpose and the right motive let the lord guide you because you cannot guide yourself in this in this industry where the devil is waging so much warfare against musicians, you will just get lost and you will get defeated. But if you rely on the Lord, trust in him, read his word, pray and pray and pray so that the Lord keep filling you with the right content, guiding you with the Holy Spirit, you will not go wrong. So uh, I wanted to make people know that it is not in vain that you comment, you watch my songs. And even as the year ends, I want to promise that there is so much more content on the way. I'm doing so many other songs uh, and next year we may have a celebration for my 10 years uh, of music ministry. I will keep you updated about this. Remember to subscribe, to share, to support my ministry. By the way, I forgot to thank some people who keep supporting me in so many ways. There are people who are supporting me, even total strangers who have been blessed by my songs. Some, some of them are in diaspora. I've never met them people who just feel blessed and they reach out to me through my number and through my social media handles and just send me monetary appreciation. I thank you so much and I continue to urge all of you, whatever support you can give to musicians, it is not easy to remain in music. You call us to your events, to perform, call us to your churches, to come and minister. That's all we ask for. If you are able to pray for us, please pray for us, encourage us. Sometimes you are also down, going through issues, and we need someone also to minister to us and to speak a word of encouragement. Because of the people who may want to call, to reach out to me for ministry, I rarely give out my number, but I believe that people who are watching these are people who have the right motive. So my number is 0723-210-189. That is the number you may want to reach out to me for ministry or for any other support or even encouragement, or even to pray with you. I am ready to do that. May God bless you so much. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, share with a friend, and let this ministry keep spreading from one level to another, and all the glory belongs to the Lord. Thank you so much.